up guys so i just woke up early in the morning the sun has come up so early today and yeah i am as i told you guys i'm in the village it's just a routine kind of thing when you wake up you go to the water uh, pipe to catch water because actually water you fetch it on the street yeah so this side this is where I plant my crops so I'm gonna just uh, clean it I'm waiting for the first rain to rain and yeah as a way of doing then I'll clean this whole area and put some crops here uh, let us just walk to get the water. This water is provided by the municipal government and have a limited time to get. And it is just here. Machiron. Hey, Hello. So yeah, this is where we get our water. So every person around here will just come. To fetch water here and uh, water is not all the time so there's a specific time like maybe this water will be here for four hours per day or three hours then it's gone so whoever did not manage to get the water when it was here will have to wait until tomorrow or the next day So yes, uh, that's uh, pretty much of what happens here every morning. When you wake up, you just go and collect water. And yeah, pretty much of uh, just a village here, man. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. Thank you very much for coming through to watch my videos. I am your guy, Imani. If you are new here, my name is Imani Parfait Nigaze dot africa whatever you call me if it suits you if it, it goes well with you i respond to those names and i'm here to show you the side of africa you don't see on tv i'm actually in venda i am in venda and yes venda is in limpopo in the northern province of uh, uh, south africa so yes guys, I have a couple of projects right here, this site in Venda, and uh, yes, uh, pretty much instead of just uh, doing my things, I am with my lens that will bring you images from all over this site. So you will get the opportunity to see this side of South Africa. South Africa is just pretty of a beautiful country and uh, yeah. But then there are areas where it's really just a village, just like where I am right now. I'm just gonna go around and show you the area. Please share the video with your friends. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please uh, smash that subscribe button. And yeah, let's continue to grow. Um, I have a feeling that it's gonna be a, an interesting family. It's not just about me, it's about you and everybody else who watch this uh, channel. So if you got anything in mind to comment, uh, if you want me to do, to do anything, uh, uh, with regard to this area where I am, please uh, let me know. If you are from here, if you are from Venda, give me an idea where you want me to go, what do you want me to do around. Yeah, let's just uh, be, you know, interactive. Let's be a family. Let's talk, guys. <clears throat> I'm here for you. Excuse me about that. I'm here for you. I'm here for everyone. Uh, please be there for me as well. Yeah.
so guys this is pretty much of how a village in Venda looks like wow. <laughs> even my brother is, is busy saying I mean it's it's hard to make people believe that, uh, that this is, is a village. village because you find a, a, a village here in Venda but uh, very beautiful houses nice yards you know <laughs> good roads sometimes when you hear Venda 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 this is Venda yeah so it's pretty nice as i said on my previous video i love the fact that vendor people decided to say this is the place where they live and they, they, you find a build here yeah. so for every vendor person you know whether in Jobek in pretoria you will find they have a house here at home and it's it's, it's nice I, I i'm really inspired And in this particular time, I was taking my brother to a studio session. Upon arrival, it turns out that my brother and the DJ had different point of views on their previous works. The main reason of making a song, the main reason is to, to make people hear the message of the of the song like the content of the song yeah so i guess you will come next time but then we got a chance to see someone record a hip-hop music or something like that while we're still there <laughs> And then I found an interesting friend. The foreigners may be someone from a different continent. But then besides that, I don't really see them as foreigners. I just see someone from a different culture, different language. Yeah. You see. And I understand with that, uh, that we have different beliefs. So you why see? is that that you can't say like someone from DRC is a foreigner here? Okay, but so the people are within the same continent, they're in the same land, right? Yes. So who's the foreigner? The only reason maybe people in South Africa would see some people from Zimbabwe as foreigners is maybe because they don't understand. Why don't they see people from Swaziland as foreigners? Why don't they see people from Lesotho as foreigners? People from Botswana as foreigners? Because maybe they interlive with them, they understand their culture and language. You see? Yeah. So basically that point number one where you believe there's a border. No, why are you believing in borders Africa? Because everyone out there is doing it. Because you don't have your own vision or goal, Africa. So that's so true. I still really believe that Africa is one and African people, we're supposed to be one. And then from there, I went to see the biggest tree I've ever seen in my lifetime. Guys, is this a bomba? Please let me know in the comment section. This tree is so huge. Wow, guys. Guys, guys. This tree is so huge. Please let me know in the comment section is this a baoba or something. Let me show you more about the We are in the village. 